Welcome to tonight's presentation of the Pro Basketball Association. If you want pro, you want the PBA. Welcome one and all to George Kurtz Gym in Jackson, Mississippi, and to this presentation of the PBA brought to you by Triangle by 1891. Calling the action for you, I am Jack Jameson for 1891, where anything is possible. Tonight's matchup is one of two games this evening between brand new expansion teams for the Pro Basketball Association, the other being the Plainview Knights heading to New Mexico to take on the hometown Blue Tails. But here in Jackson, Mississippi, the Hawks go head to head with the Knoxville Young Yellow Jackets. This marks the opening contest for both squads in the 2022 season. And to catch you up on the action now, both teams had two possessions. The Hawks won the tip off and then they followed it up with two turnovers and no baskets by either team. Jermaine Thompson with the ball now looking around. He finds repass, looks around, passes to the corner, that's Jenkins, to the top of the key. Back to Jenkins, puts the ball on the floor, repass with the shot, no basket, and it looked like it was going to be an offensive rebound. Oh my, a collision there at midcourt, and I apologize right now, I cannot see the numbers on these white jerseys so well. Uh, I hope that young man's okay, it looked like he hit his head, but he'll continue to play anyway. Here come the Hawks, and... Wait for the pick, and he takes the lane layup, no good. And Thompson pushes the ball. They want to get fast, and they lose it on the other end. That was off on Kemont John Jenkins. Sorry about that. Inbounds for the Hawks. Looks clean. He gets past half court. Moore brings the pick. He tries to take the lane, but he kicks it back for three. And that shot no good. Rebound Whitehurst. Thompson takes the ball. Puts on a move. Kicks it out to Jackson. Jackson puts out a little bit of a ball fake and they get in his wheelhouse. He'll lose it out of bounds. It stays. It stays with the Yellow Jackets. Inbound Whitehurst takes it. Kicks it over to Jenkins and that's about a 15 footer. No good, soft off the back of the rim, and here come the Hawks again. Trips up a little bit, almost loses that dribble. Kicks it out for a wide open three, no good. And down court for Jackson, he takes the outlet and goes all the way to the basket. And the young Yellow Jackets are on the board. Moore with the ball now. He's gonna call for a pick. It was ineffective. He passes down low, and that's another turnover. The Hawks are just giving this game away so far. Thompson, once again, crosses half court, gets into the paint, puts up a shot, catches a whistle. And contact on that play, Thompson will take two shots at the foul line. Once everybody gets organized here. And it looks like they're set. Thompson's first shot from the line. It's up. Rolls from the front to the back and off of the rim. No good. And it looks like the Hawks will take a substitution in between shots here. I'll call it out when I see it, especially if I can see it. Like I said, I can't see those white jerseys too well. The second shot is up, no good. And rebound Hawks. Pressure right away, he almost loses the ball in the backcourt there, he keeps it. And he fights just to get into that backcourt over here. Three point shot is faked, passed down into the paint and the Hawks are finally on the board. Here comes Thompson. 
looking around. That is Jackson over there. He gets into the paint, stops, but then he starts to dribble again. That's a double dribble. The ball will go back the other way. <clears throat> and they'll dribble around at the top of the key here, kick it back out. A measured three-pointer from that looked like Moore there. And Mark Owens with the assist. Thompson with the ball, directing traffic, and repass with the three-point shot. That time it goes down. Now these teams are starting to get it going. The Hawks try to get a pass off, but Jenkins hits the passing lane and blows that dunk on the other end. Coming back for the Hawks, three-pointer. He overshoots it. Offensive rebound, fade away, misses that shot. Offensive rebound again, keeps fighting, and another basket for the Hawks. And Thompson takes pressure as soon as he gets the inbounds. Crossover dribble, finally gets him past half court, gets into the paint. Jenkins fakes the shot, kicks it out for Jackson. No good on that three-pointer. That one bricked hard off of the glass. Here come the Hawks. And that'll be out of bounds on the errant pass, but it'll stay with the Hawks. And we have all kinds of substitutions coming in here, folks. I will try to call them out as I see them. Well, I wish I could tell you who subbed in for the Mississippi Hawks. I can't tell with those white jerseys. Those numbers are too hard to see, but the Knoxville Young Yellow Jackets are going with a completely different look now. Jeffers, Swan, Humphrey, Harris and Bernie all checked in. Humphrey gets deep in the paint that time before drawing contact and the whistle on the play. He'll take two shots this time. As soon as everyone gets all set. And Humphrey will take his first shot. It's up. Back of the rim and down. First shot good for Humphrey. And the Hawks will make a substitution. I wish I could see those jerseys though. I can't tell who that is. It looks like Cantrell possibly. Humphrey's second shot is Nylon. And back come the Hawks. Moore will set the pick, but instead he'll receive the pass. It gets boggled around a little bit, but deep in the paint and Moore with another basket. Back comes Humphrey. He almost loses it. Kicks it over to Harris. Open shot. No good on that basket. And rebound for Cantrell. Kicked back to the corner on that opposite side there. And they're passing it around, trying to find a nice open shot. Owens goes down the lane, gets slapped away. No call on that one. Moore with the interception gets it back down into the paint. And I believe that's Owens. It sure is. Owens on that basket. Harris handling the ball. He puts the ball up from about 28 feet and misses it. Hawks with the rebound on that one, long rebound. Cross court, back for Owens, who puts up a three-point shot, no good. Rebound for the Young Yellow Jackets. Swan controlling now, tries to pass it deep into the corner, but intercepted by the Hawks, comes all the way back down. Some contact underneath, no call again. Here comes Humphrey. He puts on a little juke move, gives it down deep into the paint, no good. Rebound for the Hawks. I believe that's Mark Owens again. And I think there's a timeout on the play. The inbounds for the Hawks, top of the key. They'll pass to that left slot. Back to the top. And out towards the baseline. Three-point shot is up, no good. Rebound for Humphrey. He gets 
back down court in a hurry, leaves it out there for Bernie on the three-point shot, no good. And Humphrey battles for that offensive rebound and puts it back up, no good. Out of bounds. It looks like it'll be Hawk Ball. And to the top of the key, Humphrey pressures. The shot will be no shot as it came after that whistle. So the Hawks will reset now. The inbounds. And a whistle immediately as soon as the ball gets inbounded. They will start again. Inbounds over on that far right side. The step back jumper in and out. Offensive rebound goes back up with it. No good. It got tipped back up to the basket, and even that was no good before it was chased out of bounds. It'll be Young Yellow Jackets ball here. Here comes Bernie, the ball handler. Bernie brings the ball past half court, waves off a play. Passes to the top of the key, that's Harris. Puts the ball on the floor, backs off a little bit. Three point shot, no good. Offensive rebound by Jeffers. He loses it in the lane and the Hawks put the ball down court, pass it back to that left wing. And I can't see who just took the lane there, but that was a beautiful, that's actually Mark Owens. He is all over the place tonight. Mark Owens with a take to the basket and now Humphrey with the ball. Humphrey comes back inside down into the paint and that basket good that looks like Harris on the little fadeaway shot from about six feet. Three point shot up no good for the Hawks and a rebound for Swan. Humphrey with the ball puts on the spin move loses it but it's back into the hands of his teammates. There's Bernie putting the ball on the floor. He tries to kick it off for the three-pointer. It gets tipped away and the breakaway for the Hawks. Another basket. Humphrey takes the ball at half court, gets up. Kicks it back for Harris. Harris almost lost it. Takes a two-pointer. That was a long two-pointer and that is Cantrell Banks. I've been calling him by his first name. My apologies, Mr. Banks. He leaves it for a three-point shot, no good. Banks with an offensive rebound, kicks it out. And then that's Mark Owens right there who hits a three-point shot. Just some food for thought here. I'm wondering if there's more than one Mark Owens out there as the Yellow Jackets take a timeout. Black people have always needed a place to gather since the beginning of time. To build, to reflect, to inspire, to connect. They say if you want to go fast, then go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. See, in continuing to fight for our lives to matter, we must have a place to gather. To write a chapter, enjoy the laughter, think and capture. Sharpen our skills into they master. Not only a place to fraternize, but to strategize and analyze and advertising sometimes just fantasize see 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 there's a certain brilliance that only comes from the collective one for all and all for one is the objective you get the message see we've always needed a place for like minds to collide and unlike minds to gain a better understanding of the other side you know the vibe you may want to switch lanes and you need a place to pick brains and network with big names the level up is insane the true meaning of for us, by us, with us, grown by us, stories told by us, shown by us, loaned by us, so it's always owned by us. Somebody better write a song about us. We all we got. We all we got. So meet me down at the gathering spot.
And we're back from that timeout, ladies and gentlemen. And there are some substitutions to take note of here. For the Hawks, the only one I can tell for sure checked back into the game is Charles Moore. But for the young Yellow Jackets, Jenkins returns. Uh, the rookie Isaiah McLean is out there. Uh, Collins, Bernie remains from the last rotation, and Gonzalez is out there now. Isaiah McLean scored one possession ago as we see him battling right there. They lose it out of bounds, but Isaiah McLean is uh, the young Yellow Jacket rookie. He was drafted 11th overall just this past April the 27th for anybody who missed the PBA draft. And the Hawks now, more calls for a pick, puts up a long shot, no good, offensive rebound, banks with it, he passes it to the baseline, and a take to the basket will afford a whistle on that play, they're getting chippy down there, tempers will flare, but it looks like it'll be foul shots for the Hawks, as Moore calms down his teammate there. And it looks like we'll have a substitution for the young Yellow Jackets. Levantes Knight checks in. And we'll get ready for foul shots here as soon as everybody's calm and set. The first foul shot. We'll go down for the Hawks there. And the second foul shot. And that one's good. Oh, excuse me, now the substitution is in. Levantes Knight takes the inbounds pass. Gives it up to Collins, who surveys the floor. Uses the pick at the top of the key. And a whistle there for Gonzalez. The ball will stay with the young Yellow Jackets. Knight to inbound. These are the closing minutes of the first quarter. That went into Collins and then passed over to Gonzalez again. Puts the ball on the floor, stops at the top of the key, fakes a shot, gets it down low, and that'll be no basket. That's the end of the first quarter. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Tour be lit, first of all, to even be on tour, you gotta be you gotta be one of the one of the super duper flies. People in Atlanta, they love Slutty Vegan, but like outside of Atlanta, it's crazy. The adrenaline rush that you get from it is just is amazing. We do celebrity events, casting calls, video shoots. When they say it's fresh and ready to go, like it's fresh and ready to go. We do it all ourselves. No machines, no nothing. We literally just got flat tops, grills, and fryers. Being on the road and being on tour specifically, it's like it's like you're a celebrity. Been to Boston. Tampa, Alabama a few times, North Carolina. The fact that we are able to travel together is like a whole different relationship. I like to call us like we're like Fast and Furious, right? Like it's, <laughs> you know, we're on the road. We're not in expensive cars or muscle cars, but we're in a big giant yellow truck. If somebody's got it and they're special and you see it and you want to work somewhere where you can just be yourself, this is the place. We make good tip money. You get to meet all types of people and it's fun. Knoxville will help us start the second quarter here. And the inbounds pass to Gonzalez. Whitehurst checks back into the game. Gonzalez, he delivers the pass to Isaiah McLean, puts on a shot fake, but goes up, misses that, and the putback, good by Collins. So the young Yellow Jackets will start off strong in the second quarter. Now the Hawks looking around. 
That'll be Mark Owens in the corner there. Puts up a head fake. Gets some contact. No call on that shot. Back comes McLean. He loses it near the lane, but right into the hands of his teammate, Gonzalez. Waits for the pick. Puts on a beautiful spin move. Creates space. Gets all the way to the basket. What a play. And now come back the Hawks. And a whistle stops the clock. We'll see what's going on here. There's an off the ball foul, but Moore comes back in. Two subs now for the Hawks. I can't see that other. Oh, that's there's Mark Owens. Mark Owens checks back in with Moore. So that was not Mark Moore on that previous take to the basket there. And another whistle before the shot. It's going back the other way. Another substitution in the game. I'll call it out when I see it. Gonzalez passes down court. That's Collins with the athletic move at the basket there. And the Hawks bring it up. Moore passes to the corner. It looks to be... It'll stay with the Hawks. McLean got into that passing lane over there. And the inbounds pass right down into the basket, and that's two more points for the Hawks. That's more. Gonzalez gets pressure. Knight takes the ball, passes it off to McLean, who kicks it all the way across court. Three-point shot goes down. The young Yellow Jackets add three more. And lots of contact at the other end. We'll have a whistle and probably some foul shots here. First shot is up, and it takes a friendly bounce and eventually drops for him. And the Hawks come away with two points at the stripe. Gonzalez handles. Defense right in his face. Nice spin move. Creates a little bit of space, step back, kicks it out to Knight. Knight takes it to the top of the key, enters the lane, kicks it out for another. That one was a two-point shot, I think. Nope, that was three. Count three more for the young Yellow Jackets. Moore brings it up now. Top of the key. Puts the ball on the floor. Takes a little baby hook shot from about 12 feet away, but rebound for the young Yellow Jackets. And there's Collins. Passes it to the top of the key. Gonzalez gives it to Whitehurst. Whitehurst to the far left side over there. That's McLean who passes it back. That's Collins, and that'll be an offensive foul. And we're going to have another substitution in this game. Banks returns to the game. That might be the previous substitution. Banks inbounds now. And he'll get down court waiting for his point guard here. Putting on the moves. Thompson defending. And the young Yellow Jackets get the ball back. It was a little bit scrappy there, but Thompson is the, the newest substitution in the game. And the shot by Gonzalez is a little to the right. And rebound Hawks, who are immediately pushing down court, and it'll go out of bounds.
Jenkins returns to the game. And there's probably one more sub that I have not seen yet. It could be one of those white jerseys that I can't see. I could see number zero and I could see number five. And I saw 54, which is Banks. But Thompson handles the ball now, top of the key, putting on the moves, leaves it for Whitehurst. Spin move gets a little bit of a Euro step there. The crowd looking for a travel. But it'll be out of bounds nonetheless. It'll stay with the young Yellow Jackets. Whitehurst inbounds to Jenkins, who takes a three-pointer from the side, from that baseline. Offensive rebound for Gonzalez, who puts it back up, and eventually it'll drop for them. Two more points for the young Yellow Jackets. Moore walks the, bo the ball up court now. Directing. Gives it to Banks, who creates some space out there past the three-point line, and he drops one right in front of Jenkins. Soft defense will give you three points, and Thompson gets right down the lane for an immediate answer. I'm sorry, that was McLean. Isaiah McLean gets right down into the lane before the timeout there. And we are looking at probably a couple of more substitutions. No, there was a foul on the play. I'm sorry about that. We got two shots coming. I'm not sure if it's going to be more for the, the Hawks. But the defense is set. And these will be two shots for Charles Moore. The first shot is up, and that one is no good. A little bit hard, and to the right. The second shot. And that one will rattle in for him. And we'll have a stoppage of play. More subs coming in now. I will call them out as I see them. That is the protocol at this point. And Thompson shovel passes over to that left side. And I could not see who that was. It looks like Gonzalez. Back come the Hawks. Moore takes a three-pointer. <clears throat> Excuse me. And McLean gets down the lane. And that does not go down for him. Moore with that rebound. And Banks with the three-point shot. That'll go down. Thompson handles. Gets past the half-court line, gets right down into the lane once more, bricked off the front of the rim, and an offensive rebound. It's a putback. And here come the Hawks once more. Banks handles, takes the lane, puts up a little floater shot, no good. Rebound Yellow Jackets, they'll look to push. Isaiah McLean with that ball on that left side now. He goes all the way in for a dunk and he is stopped at the rim. I believe that'll be foul shots for Isaiah McLean. Lots of contact in this game so far. And Banks checks back in for the Hawks. I believe Bernie is in now for the Young Yellow Jackets. And McLean's first shot is up, rolls off from the front to the back. And I can't see those jerseys. I wish I could call out who is coming into the game here for the Mississippi Hawks. No good on that second basket, but offensive rebound and McLean loses it in the lane there. The Hawks are off and running and no good on the first attempt, but the putback 
We'll get two more points on the board for the Hawks. The outlet pass all the way down. That's Gonzalez for two more points. The young Yellow Jackets answering right back. And the Hawks dribble around now. Jack's up a three-point shot, no good. That rebound goes to Bernie, and we'll have a timeout. You see, black people have always needed a place to gather since the beginning of time. To build, to reflect, to inspire, to connect. They say if you want to go fast, then go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. See, in continuing to fight for our lives to matter, we must have a place to gather, to write a chapter, enjoy the laughter, think and capture, sharpen our skills into they master. Not only a place to fraternize, but to strategize and analyze and advertise and sometimes just fantasize. See, 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 there's a certain brilliance that only comes from the collective. One for all and all for one is the objective. You get the message. See, we've always needed a place for like minds to collide and unlike minds to gain a better understanding of the other side. You know the vibe. You may want to switch lanes and you need a place to pick brains and network with big names. The level up is insane. The true meaning of for us, by us, with us, grown by us, stories told by us, shown by us, loaned by us, so it's always owned by us. Somebody better write a song about us. We all we got. We all we got. So meet me down at the gathering spot. Substitutions now. We have Knight, Gonzalez, Whitehurst, Jenkins, and Jackson, and that was a three pointer from Gonzalez. Back come the Hawks. They'll dribble around to the top of the key, and Jenkins gets in the passing lane. He will lay that one up this time. No mistakes th this time down, and the Hawks are. On the prowl, they get the ball down into the paint, they kick it out, and Jenkins ends up with another steal. Puts on a little shimmy and a Euro step, misses that layup, and the Hawks get the rebound. There they go again. Alley oop pass, no good. That'll be out of bounds. Yellow Jackets ball. The inbounds now from Jackson. It'll go to Gonzalez. 
and he'll take his time getting back down court. The pick from Whitehurst, and they tried to roll it off to Whitehurst in the interception in the lane there. Another lob pass down into the paint. Lots of contact, there's a whistle down there. I believe that is Charles Moore. Two shots at the line for Charles Moore. And here's his first shot. That one will rattle off the rim. No good on the first shot. A substitution now. I will call that out. I think Whitehurst is the one who sits. And Moore for his second shot, it's up. And it will f get a friendly bounce and go down for him. So he's one of two from the stripe on that trip. And c back comes the young Yellow Jackets. Strip the ball in the backcourt there. That is, I believe that's Moore again. And another whistle. Moore will step to the free throw line one more time, consecutive possessions. And he'll look to uh, go perfect this time. Moore's first shot. That one is nylon. And check ball is good. The second shot is up and that'll go down for him. Young Yellow Jackets now. That is Harris with the ball. Puts on a move, gets into the lane. Misses the floater, but the putback is good. I did not see who got that putback. That could have been Knight. Moore with the ball, he puts it on the floor. He gets into the into the paint, but blows the layup there. Jackson handles the ball, tries to go up top. Knight gets it, passes it over to Collins. I'm sorry, that's Harris. Harris gets it back and two points. It's all about the easy buckets here, folks, as we will have a timeout now. And the Young Yellow Jackets interception of that pass, that is Harris, he took it right back. Two more points. Hawks three point shot, no good. And Back come the Young Yellow Jackets. Jackson gets into the paint, misses that layup. And it's a fast pace now. Here comes the Hawks on the easy layup. Harris misses that three-pointer. The Hawks chase it down. Comes on back, he keeps it himself, goes up, misses it. Offensive rebound, put back, no good. And Knight handles the ball. Passes it to Jackson, to the top of the key. He loses it, poked away. And the outlet pass gives the Hawks two more points. Knight dishes it into, past the half court and it's intercepted by Banks and he'll go out of bounds. I'm not sure if that's a foul. It looks like it might be a foul. And the ball will stay with the Hawks. And Banks handles, and we're gonna clear that right now because there's a whistle. I'm not exactly sure what's happening here. We will find out. There was some off the ball penalty and it requires shots. So the first one is good.
and the second one is good as well. So that trip was successful for the Hawks, and we have a stoppage of play. Knight with the ball pressured. And the double team comes, he splits it, gets all the way down into the lane, dishes it off for a 12-footer from the baseline. Offensive rebound, they get it back. Jackson puts up a shot, no good. And that's the end of that quarter. Switching sides now, Jenkins handles, passes it down into the high post. Whitehurst kicks it out. And they're still in the paint. And that is a good layup from, that was Isaiah McLean. Owens with the ball. He stops and pops. No good. Rebound for Jenkins. Humphrey checks into the game now. And he handles, gives it back to Jenkins. He strolls up to the three-point line. And he drops one right in front of the defender there. Three more points for Jenkins. And here come the Hawks. Passing around to that right side wing. Three point shot, no good. McLean with the rebound. And he looks to get back down court in a hurry. His pass intercepted, here comes the Hawks again. And the foul on the play. It looks like a blocking foul on McLean. And the Hawks will keep it. So that was a blocking foul on McLean. The inbounds to Owens. And a travel call there. Got a little excited with his feet. Humphrey takes the inbound, gives it to Jenkins in the backcourt there. Casually dribbles up, finds himself a little bit of a lane, but steps back to the three-point line, puts up a shot, no good. Humphrey with the ball, he puts up a little floater shot, and that's no good. The Hawks are pressing, and they lost the ball down low. Whitehurst misses that layup. Still has the ball, goes back up, and it's finally down for him. Two points for Whitehurst. The Hawks to the top of the key, finds a lane, misses the shot. Humphrey gets the ball, and he's trying to pass it down court, and he's having all kinds of trouble now. Gets into the lane, passes it out to the baseline. The shot goes up from Jenkins from the wing. That three-pointer was no good. And it'll be Hawks ball, subs coming in. And here come the Hawks. That shot was good. Two more points for the Hawks. Swan has checked in for the Young Yellow Jackets. And lots of contact down there. Looks to come back the other way. Charging foul. Offensive foul for, I didn't see who it was on that play, but that was the Young Yellow Jackets, so. Hawks with it now. Past the half court, looking around. Puts the ball on the floor, tries to get into the lane, but that'll be ripped away. The young Yellow Jackets, that's uh, Eric Burney on that steal. Swan with it now, keeps it from going back behind the half court line, and he puts up a shot. There's a whistle on the play. I don't think that shot will count as a shot. Stays with the Young Yellow Jackets. Humphrey to inbound. He puts it all the way to the top of the court there. 
Jenkins passes to McLean and it gets tapped out of bounds by the Hawks. Jenkins to inbound. Humphrey takes it. Top of the key, puts up a three point shot. No good. Offensive rebound. That was Jenkins underneath over there. And that'll be no shot for Jenkins there. But back come the Hawks. Gets right in down into the lane and there's a, a whistle on that play. Two shots for the Mississippi Hawks. And here comes the first foul shot. That one will go down for him. And the second shot is up and down. Two for two from the stripe on that trip. Humphrey handles, pressured in the backcourt. Gets past half court line, right down into the lane, kicks it out towards the baseline. And that is, that was the substitution I, I could not find. That's Jeffers who took the lane right there. I knew I would catch him eventually. Is that zero or is that nine? I think that's a zero. No, that's repass. That's number nine at the free throw stripe. And substitutions for the Mississippi Hawks. Repass for his second free throw now. That one will rattle around before he knocks it down. And Cantrell Banks checks into the game. Moore is back in. That two points from Charles Moore. A pretty move right in the lane there. And Swan kicks it out for repass. He'll dribble to the wing towards the top of the key. Loses the ball, but it's in the hands of Humphrey. And Humphrey waits for the pick, uses a spin move, gets around, puts the ball in the air, and no good on that layup. Offensive rebound for the young Yellow Jackets. They keep it. Humphrey on this baseline here. And he'll lose it out of bounds. Hawk ball. And we'll have another stoppage of play here. I'll get ready for some subs. And for the Knoxville Young Yellow Jackets, Gonzalez, Whitehurst, Collins, Jackson, and Knight are in. For the Mississippi Hawks, the only notable sub that I see is Daquan Forrest. And he just knocked down a three ball. Collins with the ball right now on that deep on that right side, poked free, and that'll be a turnover. Hawks ball as Collins loses it out of bounds there. And the Hawks get it across half court. Three ball, no good. Rebound for that was Gonzalez on the rebound and the shot no good on the other end. Fast pace right now. No good on that shot. Offensive rebound put back no good. They get it again. Banks on that offensive rebound the last one. And right down the lane no good but an offensive rebound for Moore and the put back. Another bucket for Moore. Knight handles the ball. Passes it to the baseline. Three-point shot is up, no good. 
Rebound for the Hawks. They bring it back down real fast. Easy layup, and he misses it. Rebound for Collins. And Knight brings it back down again. Top of the key, uses the pick, ineffective, but Gonzalez has the ball, uses the pick, gets it around to the low block. And Whitehurst, lots of contact, no good on that shot. And the Hawks are coming right back. Three-pointer for Banks, no good. And a, a whistle on that rebound there. Knight took some contact on that last play, but Gonzalez handles now. The pick. And Gonzalez gets into the lane. No good. Gets it back and then puts it right back up and in. Two more points for Gonzalez. Top of the key. Passing it around. They get it down into the low block. Shot is up. No good. But the putback is... Banks is battling underneath. Collins handles the ball. Finds Knight at the top of the key. He's pressured. Tried to get it back to Gonzalez and they strip it away. Two man break and a dunk on the other end. Nice play for the Mississippi Hawks. And a timeout for the Knoxville Young Yellow Jackets. We will be right back. When I came home from prison in 2001, I had a tough time finding a job. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? When you get to that part of the application, your heart starts beating fast, your hands become sweaty. It doesn't matter your education or work experience. That's gonna be the determining factor. What's up, man? What's up, What's up with you? Right, man. How you get it, man? Bring the military, family, you family, know, family, family. I would fill out an application and they tell me that they're not hiring, but they got now hiring signs on the window. Did that make you go back to doing some of the things that you were doing before? Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. It's kind of like they forced you to. Set up. Right? It's, it's like set up. It's systematically set up for you to have to go back. I was three years old when the U.S. Marshals came, beat down the door, and got my dad. Maybe like five the second time. I just kept asking my mom, like, yo, where's my dad? Where is he at? He would tell my grandmother, I'm not trying to do that no more. I'm trying to get my life right. What up, boy? What's up with your boy? Good to see you. Good to see you, Good to see you man. Being a barber changed my dad. Being able to have a community that he can turn to when he needed something, that helped him a lot. That was a hard moment for me last All those ups and downs that you've been through, to look at you now, I am so proud of you. I'm happy to call you my dad, man. What you just said right there is what it was all about. Everything that I've done was for that. Now I can retire, so <laughs> I can retire now. Old man still got it. Now that look good, man. Humphrey in for the young yellow jackets. I'll call out the substitutions as we go here. Humphrey and Gonzalez in the backcourt right now. Pressured the whole way, and a pass down into the paint. F pass right back up to the top of the key. There's Thompson on the floater, and it goes down for him. Beautiful floating shot for Thompson. And back come the Hawks. Dribble, pass it over to the baseline. The shot is up, no good. 
that was Forrest on the shot, and the young Yellow Jackets are running. Harris will bring it back out to the wing, pass it down underneath, and lots of contact down there for Gonzalez. And it'll go back the other way. There was an offensive foul on that play. I did not catch it. But here are the Hawks now, surveying the defense. Everyone seems to be set. Pass to the top of the key. Back to Banks, who takes a three-point shot. Fades off of it, misses that shot. Offensive rebound. And the shot back up, and it's good. Oh, I wish I could tell you who that was. It was a nice shot from about eight feet away. And Thompson gets contact in the backcourt. They'll stop play. Foul on number seven for the Mississippi Hawks. I'll tell you who that is in just a second here. That's uh, Demetric Cook. And... They are fighting for it. Collins over there. And it'll be a jump ball, it looks like. We'll see how this turns out. All right, so they're going to get things settled out here. The inbounds for the young Yellow Jackets. I think that was Swan who took the shot. Harris pressuring foul on Harris there. A reach in foul. Bernie is back in the game as well as Harris. Inbounds all the way to the top of the key for the the Hawks, Cook passes it over to the left side wing and ball fake and then eventually a pass to a three point shot that doesn't go down. Offensive rebound for the Hawks, another chance at it here. Gets right in for the easy layup. And Humphrey handles the ball now. <clears throat> a whistle at the top of the key there. Repass enters the game. Humphrey sits and Collins sits, so I'm looking for another sub here. I'll eventually find him. Thompson with it, passes it down to Whitehorst. All the way out for repass. Passes it back down into the low block. That is Jenkins on the fadeaway shot, and it goes down. And play will stop once more. This time the Hawks have the ball. And here come the Hawks. Passing it down, down court and it gets tipped away. It'll remain with the Hawks. And the inbounds. Passes it towards that left side. They almost lost it. Banks receives it at the top of the key. Gives it right back for three. And that one will go down for the Mississippi Hawks. They are shooting three-pointers like crazy. Italian Twine offer detail and luxury with styles for both men and women. I love them. Clean. Go good with suits, like you say. Two young brothers. HBCU grads. It's called Italian Twine. It's just a black-owned watch company. And, you know, I just, I'd like to support all black everything. Also, uh, shout out to Italian Twine for this amazing watch. This is the one my wife got me. 
love this watch. One of my favorite pieces. I've always been in a watch. I've always been collecting watches, man. And I really like this. The Virginia-based company, founded in 2014, has been featured in Men's Health, The Rob Report, Black Enterprise, Huffington Post, New York Magazine, Cosmopolitan, and more. The actual band is interchangeable. This is a fire brand. Dope watch, man. Young Yellow Jackets with a long two-point shot. He shot it a little bit strong, but they keep possession somehow. A Hawks player tried to save it from going out of bounds, but Gonzalez went and took the lane after catching that, that save. And he'll get two shots. First shot from Gonzalez, hits the front of the rim and it doesn't go down for him there. The second shot is up and that one rattles out as well. Zero for two from the line for Gonzalez on that trip. And it looks like Harris is getting in the passing lanes. And Jenkins breaks up the play, and the break was on. Harris will take two shots as he tried to convert on the fast break. And it did not drop for him, so he has two shots coming. <clears throat> First one will go down. Substitutions all over the place for the Mississippi Hawks here. And the second one drops. Thompson pressures in the backcourt there. They finally make it past the half court line, fakes the shot, passes it off, but it's intercepted by Harris who leaves it. The shot is no good. Harris has the ball over in the corner, pressured double team, kicks it all the way across court for Jenkins who tries to get into the lane, but a foul on the floor. <clears throat> And the inbounds pass for the Hawks. Banks with it now. Passes it to the top of the key for Moore. He loses it. And eventually the, Jay the young yellow jackets come back all the way down court for the easy bucket. What happens when everything we know about something changes? I tell people all the time, this is the best American story you never heard. We're out hitting the pavement, talking to restaurants, talking to bars. I don't think of myself as a whiskey salesperson. I want you to know his name. Drink by drink, we're bringing this story to light. When we have to step back through the pages of history. It's so much more than whiskey. It's so much more than a brand. It's a movement. When we have to make amends and pay respect. We're honoring the greatest whiskey maker the world never knew. And it's beautiful and give credit where credit is due. Uncle Nearest is the godfather of Tennessee whiskey, and the world needs to know it. What happens? We do it. Uncle Nearest, it's more than whiskey. Here we are now, the Hawks on the on the prowl. 
Pass to the top of the key, all the way over to that left side. Three-point shot wor is working right now for the for the uh, Mississippi Hawks. And a steal at the midcourt. A nice little dish, but the, the bucket doesn't go down for them over there. Gonzalez enters the lane, lots of pressure. More in his face, but the shot still goes down. And they are beating the defense all the way back. Ball on that right wing over to the left wing. Banks with a three-point shot high off of the back of the rim. And that putback is tapped in. Collins with the ball. Passes it over to Gonzalez. Looking at Whitehurst, but... He thought about the shot, gives it to the top of the key where Thompson was waiting for it. Collins pass, uh, Thompson to Collins who takes a three and that will go down for him. The young Yellow Jackets are answering right back. And they put the ball on the floor, whistle on the play. Is there gonna be free throws on this one? There will be a foul shot as that shot went down and that was Banks on the take. Lots of contact underneath, but he'll go for the and one free throw right here. The shot's up and good. The young Yellow Jackets now pushing all the way to the lane and that floater good. That is Collins. Back come the Hawks. Three point shot. It rattles off the rim. Rebound Yellow Jackets. And that is Thompson over there. Closing minutes of the game here. Thompson brings it up. He cuts to the lane, goes up for a layup, no good, slapped away, but in the hands of Harris, who puts it up, no good. And looks like a travel call. He stopped his dribble. And there you have it, folks. That's the end of regulation. The Knoxville Young Yellow Jackets defeat the Mississippi Hawks 95 to 92. Stay tuned for more PBA and always check back with us, folks. We have more games all season long.